We're going to work on the interior of my car today, at least a little bit. Ever since I bought this thing, the shifter has been damaged. Now, nothing wrong with the functionality, nothing wrong with the actual transmission. It's just that uh, this shift gate, specifically the whatever it's called, the ribbon, I think on a manual transmission it'd be called the shift boot. But for automatics, this is called the shift ribbon, I think. And as you can see, it's ripped and torn, and, you know, it, you can see the gears the previous owners usually used, which was nominally drive. I have no clue how long this has been this way, but, you know, I can see why it would be something that you wouldn't bother with, because why would you, usually? It's just a minor inconvenience sometimes. One of the problems with the shifter being damaged like this is that, while well, it still functions, sometimes it won't let you take the keys out, even when it's in park. So, fun fact, unless you're in park or neutral, Subarus, at least from 2001, wouldn't like, let you take the key out if you were in any gear that wasn't park or neutral. Now I have the key on, and the key's in the car. Let me show you the problem with having the ripped thing. Come on, focus. So I'm going to turn it off. But you see, it doesn't go to the zero position, and I can't take my key out. That is, unless I push the shifter. Not sure if you've heard that. But it just fully clicked over, and now I can take my key out. Minor thing, you know, and if you know about it, you can live with it. But it's still a minor annoyance, especially when I'm having to, you know, get out in a hurry or something. So thankfully... I've bought parts. Went to the junkyard and bought a whole new, very much used, but still, a new shift ribbon thing. That will be going in there. And apparently it's actually not too difficult of a job. I mean, the shift knob comes right off. I think the most tricky thing will be getting all of the trim, and the fascia comes off easy, but this trim around it might fight back. Okay, pulling the trim might actually be a little bit easier than I thought. I don't even need the flathead I bought out, because I just tugged on this middle part, and this is in a 2001 Outback. I just tugged on this part, and it's already come loose. So, oh yeah, there you go. That's most of the trim dislodged. Probably going to be getting that off. Oh yeah, I probably should have moved it out of park. Correction. Subarus will not let you take the key out if it's in neutral. It has to be in park. But nonetheless, I got the trim out. That was easy. Now it's just the shifter and the fascia thing. And if you don't know, uh, let's see, which way does it go? There we go. It just unscrews. It's a long thread, and I, th I think there might be a lock nut or something in there, but yeah, it just unscrews. Apparently you don't even need at least I didn't need, a flathead screwdriver to pop that fascia off. And I just tugged on the passenger side, and I was surprised when it leapt right off the thing. As you can see, yeah, that's what's left of the original shift ribbon. Oh, I should probably stick my keys back in, but... Yeah, there is not a lot left. I mean, there's a bit of a shift pattern. Hope nothing's down in there and jammed up, but yeah, there's the old shift ribbon. Good grief, is that mauled. But uh, yeah, that was easy. And I guess if you have issues with your uh, uh, your shift quadrant indicator not lighting up, now's your chance to replace the bulb because it's just right there. But uh, yeah, where's that staples button when you need it? That was easy. You know? It's almost like they designed this thing to be easy to assemble, because if I can reach with my left hand, this just clips in, and I just looked at the underside of the trim, and, I mean, that's got metal clips. That's not supposed to break when you shove it in on the production line. I wouldn't say that this is designed to easily come apart, because, you know, even in 2001, who was designing for right to repair? But still, this thing, I mean, that came apart easy. I didn't even need this flathead screwdriver that I grabbed specifically for this job. And there it is, new shift ribbon installed. And it works so smoothly too, I mean look at that. And I think the one part I wanted to solve 
the uh, clicking over when in park. I mean, I'm just going to lift my foot off the brake so you can hear it. There we go. I can now take my key out just fine. Look at that. Problem solved. Now I just have to put the, uh, the knob and the trim back on, and that is a pretty easy job, actually. Yeah, there we go. All back together. All fixed up and looking brand new again. I mean, that, I think, is quite an improvement from that ripped ribbon thing that was in here. And, yeah, j just listen. It'll actually click over and allow you to take the key out. It's all fixed. I can go through the gears all smoothly. And, you know. So that's nice. Job done, I suppose.